today is May 1st, 2018, uh, and I would like to welcome you all to Village in Motion. I'm Fran Duvall, your host for today. And I have as our first guests uh, two of our uh, community resource personnel. Um, I guess I think of you all as just three because of your each have a neighborhood, right. but there's more in that department than just the three of you, uh, right? Uh, well, first, let me say Anita and Dwayne. Yes. Good morning. Right, it's community resources. And actually, there are three of us in community resources. Just that's nobody else has that title? No, no. no. Okay. Um, there's the volunteer coordinator, and yeah. there are there's multiple departments within Under resident your life. umbrella. I mean, right. not your umbrella, but the umbrella of, of uh, resident life. Resident life, mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, well, anyway, welcome to the show. Thank you. Uh, Dwayne is the newest employee of the three of you. Um, and Janelle's not here today. Well, she's here. She's I mean, here. I saw her. She's I passed just not, her. She's just not on, on the set. On the air. So, do you have something special you want to talk about today, Anita? Well, you know what? I always like to do a roundup about the entertainment that's coming. Mm -hmm. And this month, we have quite a bit. Um, in fact, it's going to be an exciting month if you like to get out and and do all the entertainment. We start out the first day of the month with the Chimes and Bells program in the Actink Room at two o'clock. Mm -hmm. And if you have not heard them, they are so wonderful. Oh, mm -hmm. they just always give me goosebumps. But anyways, um, and then this Saturday is um, the Rick, oh, we, we already have that, don't we? I missed it. Well, anyways, f Saturday is Rick Whitehead, and, and his um, bass guitarist, Lou Hens. And if you go out that night for Cinco de Mayo, Dining Service is gonna have something special. Uh -huh. um, it would be a wonderful time for you to just go and where's that to dinner and, and then go to the um, theater and- The theater. The theater, mm-hmm. And yep, I know you're worried about your set, but don't you worry, <laughs> that's why I got two guitars, because they don't need the piano. Okay. So anyway, they are wonderful. Evidently, Rick is one of the best guitarists in the metropolitan area, so you don't want to miss that. If you like guitar, um, make sure you make that show. And then, um, in fact, everybody should know that the first Saturday of every month, yeah. we have a wonderful program for you in the theater. So make sure you make those. And then um, Dale Jarrett, everybody's favorite, they go, he's coming on the 14th this month. He'll be at one o'clock in the Akatink room. Mm -hmm. And then um, let's, let's go over to, do you want me to do the concerts or you want to talk about the play? Uh, well, I, I'll be glad to talk about the play for a minute because I'm connected with the Green Spring Players. And our play begins uh, with dress rehearsal on the 14th. Mm -hmm. and is that Monday? That's Monday. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then we, uh, we are having ticket sales right now. Uh, and we will be showing, performing on Tuesday night, Wednesday night. Mm -hmm. and 7 o'clock. 7 o'clock in the theater. Friday mm -hmm. night, 7 o'clock in the theater. Saturday matinee, 3 o'clock. That's right. So tickets are on sale for, if you can afford it, they're $5 each. <laughs> so, <laughs> but you, as you know, these are actors that live here, who live here for the most part. Um, we do have one gentleman who has, uh, you know, acted with us many times who doesn't live here um, and directed everything, you know, it's all put on by Green Spring residents for Green Spring residents. Oh, so no, isn't it wonderful? We're okay, happy. We're, yeah. we're, What's your role this year? Well, actually, I'm publicity chair this year. Okay, so. okay, good. good well, that's good. a good thing. I'm telling this now. Right. <laughs> <laughs> not, to, not to take the uh, place of anybody who was scheduled to come on to sell tickets or whatever. No. And so you, that's so all next, that's all not next week, but the following week. Right. Now here there's a comedy. It is. It's funny? It, the, the author, the playwright called it a prank in two acts. Oh, okay. So it's really kind of an absurd play um, in many ways. Jane Ford is a star. And oh, I, I think love seeing her on stage. Everybody can know how she can take on a role. Right. And uh, so um, it's called Everybody Loves Opal. Opal is a character. She's a junk dealer. Oh, goodness. So that's what makes it a comedy. Oh, I can't <laughs> wait. I love going to them. 
Um, so make sure you get your tickets. In fact, That's are any right. of them sold out? I haven't heard. I talked to the ticket chair uh, Sunday, but um, that was the first, you know, it just, it was the first week. Okay. So they hadn't, I don't think they had sold out any particular night. Wednesdays usually sells out right away, but. Well, either way, get your ticket. Right. Because you can't, it's a great time. Um, and then, right after that, on Sunday, we have the Northern Virginia Corral. And this is a group that comes here, and every year people say, I can't believe more people didn't come to this show. They were fabulous. And I will tell you, if you want to see them, you better get there this year because the more expensive concerts, we have to alternate them. So I can't guarantee they're going to be back next year. Mm -hmm. So make sure you go out and see them because they're very, very good. And then the Wakefield Corral, I guess there's a lot of residents here that go to that church still. Mm -hmm. um, they are coming, and that's going to be a, a nice night. But that's on Tuesday. We don't usually have concerts on Tuesday, but Tuesday night, the Wakefield Corral, and um, they are going to be in the theater, okay, at 7 o'clock on Tuesday the 22nd. So um, let me back up. The Northern Virginia Corral, that one on Sunday, that's part of that series, the concert series. And, um, oh, okay. Right. And so make sure that if you have a season ticket, you get out for it. And Dining Services is trying something new. They're offering a bar, but, you know, Quite honestly, y'all get your drinks here very cheap. And so <laughs> if you want to go to the concert and have a little bit of a um, drink to enhance that moment, <laughs> go That's for great. it. Um, but anyways, then on Saturday, we have Thomas. And that's, Van what date is that? I'm sorry, Saturday the 26th. Okay. Thank you for slowing me down. We're getting toward the end of the month already. I know, but look at all that we have. Um, so Thomas Pandolfi, he, we can't get enough of him. He is just the cream of the crop as far as a piano player. And he's going to be in the chapel at um, 7 o'clock this time. It's not an afternoon. He wanted to do an evening performance and mm -hmm. see how that goes. So he's going to be there on the 26th in the chapel. And then I'm going to turn it over to Dwayne because Community Resources has a big event coming on. And this is Dwayne's big outing. Yes. Okay, Dwayne, I'm glad she's finally letting you talk. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you have for us, Dwayne? Well, um, this month we have the Village Fair on May the 30th. Right. From 10 a.m. until 2 p.m. Sure. And so far we have 116 residents who, who participated or who have registered already to participate this year. And that means a uh, hundred and what was the number? Sixteen. Sixteen is that a hundred and sixteen clubs? Yeah, clubs. groups. Yes. Okay, not just people because some of those will have more than one person at a table or yeah. whatever. So it's a hundred and sixteen resident groups uh -huh. that have registered already to uh, participate. Wow. Yeah. And um, the theme this year is music driven. It's like uh, I thought of like resident groups being a part of an orchestra, and each group representing an instrument. Oh, like a bass nice. section, cellos, um, brass, like that. String. Strings, yeah. yeah. Uh, so, so where are the Green Spring players? <laughs> I'm putting I you on this spot now. <laughs> I would say the strings, maybe. Are they in the strings? I would say they pull, okay. pull the great sound, the Green Spring. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and we'll have uh, re live resident performers this year uh -huh. participating. And um, what's the other thing? The, uh, Oh yeah, also yeah, also dining services. Usually, oh yeah, they're having yeah. usually has an opportunity to buy yeah. something. Yeah. Tell me the times again of that. It's ten to ten a.m. until eleven. Ten a.m. until two p.m. Two p.m. Yeah, yes. mm -hmm. yeah. So it's through the lunch time. So that's why dining service yeah. comes in too. There'll be a meal, a five dollar meal option. Yes. And we'll provide two meal tickets to each resident group. Mm hmm during that time. So if you haven't gotten your, your group in, can they get it in still? Yes. Yeah, that's yeah. Okay. Right. okay. Well, that's good. What's the deadline? The deadline was April 23rd. <laughs> oh, okay. So if you didn't get it still in, coming you in. better get yeah. it in. When week. was your deadline? Right, 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 right. Yeah. Oh, gosh. Right. Well, that's, that's good yeah. uh, to promote that. Um, I know. I'm si I, well, I haven't signed up for what hour yet, but I told well, you know, it's just such a wonderful way to meet people in the group and see if, if maybe you might want to join that group, see what they're all about. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's one of my favorite events of the year. It, it yeah. is. Cause and everybody the, and the groups yeah. uh, need to um, 
come prepared with maybe a, a little blurb about who their group is or what they do or maybe some mm -hmm. visuals and then a sign-up sheet if anybody wants to be contacted about it. Yeah, that. that's a good that's idea. That's the way we do it with the players. We okay. have, um, you know, anybody who wants any, like to get our notices and stuff. Yeah, okay. I'm looking at this notice on the, on the table. Um, we're there, Kathleen Henry, she is phenomenal. Mm -hmm. I don't know how she does everything, but she is having another photo ID um, session. So if you want to vote, and you're not sure if your voter's registration is still up to date, um, you can come there and get a, a voter's ID. It's, a, it's basically an ID that right. um, will allow you to vote. Now, they can also answer questions about absentee ballots and things like that, but um, that's on Tuesday, May 8th. And that's to get a photo ID, a photo ID. to allow one to vote, mm -hmm. especially for people who don't drive anymore. Right. Uh, or for some reason they're picture ID has expired. Exactly. Right. And yeah. and that's in Hunter's Crossing from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Okay. on the May 8th. Tuesday Will they May get 8th. a cubby notice, do you know? People get a cubby You know what, notice. I don't know about that. Okay, and we know it'll be posted though. The main thing though. is to make sure you have your social security number. number. Uh -huh. Okay, you don't have to have an ID because you don't have an ID, but you do or have- Or you might have an expired one. But right, right, yeah. true, true. But the main thing is you need to have your social security number. Okay, okay. All right, I'm sure that'll be posted, and that's coming up in just seven days, so. That's right. Anybody who missed it last year, or maybe you're new to the community, uh, that's a good good thing. Check the bulletin boards on that. Liz, right. And do you have anything else? Because um, Well, next month, if you're an artist, we are having the art show. And yeah. Dwayne, why don't you tell yeah. me? Now, what, time, what day is that? The art show will be held on Thursday, June 28th and 29th. Okay. From 11 a.m. until 3 p.m. Mm -hmm. in the Hunters Crossing Conference Center. Right. Janelle Cesari is the lead on this event this year. Okay. You can contact her if you have any questions uh -huh. regarding um, being able We'll a be hearing more about that yeah. as time goes on, but that's always a wonderful, <laughs> wonderful set up oh the effort that goes into these right. the setting up for these uh, various things we have in the conference center uh, well i'll tell you the the artists here are just they fabulous are, they, they are, are fabulous. just so good they are so it's a wonderful time for you to be able uh, to you see know we work. forgot to mention i think that the entertainment uh calendar that the round table the entertainment calendar you're t you're you all of those are ticketed events right except okay, well, maybe dale what i'm trying to do now is put um, all the uh, if you don't if you want to go to a show bring five dollars because we don't ever charge more than five dollars. Uh -huh. But Dale is free, and okay. um, and again the um, Northern Virginia Corral is part of the concert series. So if you have your concert, ticket. okay. If you don't have it, your series, ticket, you can pay at the you door. You can pay at the door. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's the great. main thing is is that realize the only reason we can bring these acts is because we have an entertainment roundtable, and these folks are dedicated. They get out there. They they. They work these shows. I love them to death. They uh -huh. are just a wonderful. And they're group. a group of residents who, That's right. who uh, give ideas and mm -hmm. have contacts out in the community. I'll tell you what. It, it everything about Green Spring is about the residents. <laughs> I mean, we, we you make it. You make what what is here, and uh, we're just here to support you in any way we can. Well, thank you both for coming, and uh, mm -hmm. we will look forward to all these. Are we going to have this calendar at the front desks? It is. It's not in color when you get it. It's black and white, but it'll be on a colored you sheet. you got to put it online so we can all download it. It is. Oh, okay. Oh, Oops. if y'all don't know this, <laughs> make sure you get on thevillagebridge.net. Thevillagebridge.net is also resident-driven. Yeah. And it has all the flyers. Okay. It has all the calendars. It has everything. So. All right. Thank you both.